the year is AD 304. In Rome, the great persecution of Christians ordered by the Emperor, Diocletian, is at its height. The priest Marcellinus is one of those arrested and imprisoned. Like so many others, Marcellinus refuses to abjure the faith. Thus, do many prisons become small communities of believers. In prison, Marcellinus meets Peter, an exorcist, not a fighter of demons, but one whose responsibilities included those of a modern-day usher or warden. Together they proclaim Christ crucified and risen. Many convert, and ask for baptism. Marcellinus and Peter are tortured, brought into a wood known as the Black Forest, forced to the last, cruel humiliation, digging their own grazes, and finally decapitated. As far as the law was concerned, justice had been done. The decision to do it in the forest is one final insult, an effort to obscure forever their place of execution. Lucilla, a Roman matron, came in short order to know the place of their martyrdom. The woman located and moved the remains of Marcellinus and Peter from the Black Wood, Selva Nera, which from then on will be renamed Selva Congeda, White Wood, to the cemetery today called at Duish Loras, perhaps owing to the presence of two laurels. Pope St. Damasus composed a hymn, a carmen, that he affixes to the new tomb, and when the Goths destroyed it, Pope Vigil put it back up and place the names of the two martyrs in the canon of the Mass. There would follow a series of more or less licit translations of the saints' relics, but the Roman churches and the catacombs today open and living perpetuate the memory of these two men, a memory that has proven too great to be erased by anonymous burial in unmarked tombs covered by overgrowth.